Now this is definitely a view that I'd like to wake up to every single day. Now that I'm here, I know I definitely don't want to leave. Oh. We are at the moment at the Twelve Apostles Hotel in Camps Bay, and I'm joined today by the wine steward, Brian Mashangu. Welcome Thank to Food and Wine Channel. Thank you so much. Thank you. It feels good to be here, and uh, looking forward to the fruitful, as always, uh, Intertem Challenge. Wonderful. Now, Brian, you are obviously the wine steward here. How long have you been with the Twelve Apostles Hotel? Uh, I've been with the Twelve Apostles since I joined them, that was early 2009, uh, as a barman, and I started studying wine, that was uh, 2011. Tell us about the relationship, or your relationship generally, with food and wine, and how important it, the role that it actually plays within a fine dining establishment such as yours. Um, since I joined the um, wine uh, uh, sommelier program, I find it quite very fascinating to match uh, food and wine, as many patrons do. Uh, what happens is, I always joke about it, like, without food, wine tastes much better, and the chefs <laughs> always kill, want to kill me. But actually, it's the other way around. So, Absolutely. without wine, food tastes much better. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> that's what they say, that's what they say. Oh, but, uh, wow. they both, that, that's uh, what obviously a chef would say. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. So I'm trying to make the chef happy here. But um, honestly, the two together, it's amazing. It's amazing. I agree with that. Um, now, if you know me or anybody that knows me knows that I'm definitely a, food per a wine person rather than a food person. Um, and I always say that wine is definitely a sharing thing. Would you agree with me on this? Uh, definitely, definitely. Um, I can, uh, sometimes I do uh, have wine on my own. Uh, probably maybe I'm around people who don't appreciate wine, but I would yeah. love them to have just a sip and because it's so boring to uh, have a wine. Because wine is not about what's in the glass. There's a story behind it. Absolutely. And you would love to share that story, it's any story out there. And, and as South Africans listening to that story, are we actually telling it to the, are telling that story well enough for people to obviously grasp the interest and obviously the untapped characteristics that we actually have in terms of the gems that we produce in the country? Are South Africans taking an interest in wine, would you say? Uh, we're still getting there. They're improving. Um, uh, very few, you may find that out of five people, only two are interested in wine and and uh, we try and um, impart all the information we have so that it, we make it so interesting and then that they can uh, get that little interest in them, and, but we're getting there. We're getting and now there. you took part in the 2013 leg of the Interhotel Challenge, That's how was that for you? Uh, that was quite um, a good feeling and uh, from the beginning till the, the final day I enjoyed every moment. Uh, it's about meeting new people and uh, learning a lot from them as well and um, it was quite amazing, it was a, an amazing show. Now fast forward to 2014, you took part in the hotel challenge. What has happened between that time to right now in your life relating to wine at work? Um, I've learned to to take everything step by step and um, gather as much information as possible and uh, foremost uh, the service category. Um, service is very important in terms of uh, wine and food, uh, fine dining experience Absolutely. and uh, yeah, I think it's working for me. I've, where to from here? What can we expect from Brian Mahlangu going forward? Lots of wine. I'm <laughs>